On the entire west coast of the Americas, there is no other estuary like San Francisco Bay. Immense in size, covering over 1,600 square miles and draining over 40% of the land area of California. It is one of the great estuaries of the world. With each day's tides and the freshwater outflow of interior California, more water flows through the Golden Gate each day than flows out the vast Mississippi River watershed, seven times more. It's an estuary, but most estuaries open to the sea like great funnels, like Chesapeake Bay, for example. San Francisco Bay is one of the very few that actually is enormous, but then constricts right where it enters the sea to an only a mile wide entry, the Golden Gate. San Francisco Bay is a transition point where the rainy, wet Pacific Northwest begins to give way to the arid Southwest. It is one of five places in the world with a Mediterranean climate, wet in winter, dry in summer. The bay itself, by allowing intense warm summer days and cool nights, is the reason the Napa and Sonoma valleys, sitting open to its famous fogs, flourish as one of the world's premier wine-producing regions. In the scope of the entire globe, there are some places that support life sparingly, while others support life in abundance. Estuaries are the great nursery grounds of the planet, mixing zones where fresh and salt water meet and life flourishes above and beneath the surface. Estuaries are the part of the planet where land and sea come together. It's magic in a lot of ways. In this not quite ocean, not quite fresh water, a lot of things make their home. The productivity in estuaries tends to be really high because they tend to be shallow and sunlight penetrates right to the bottom. So on a per acre basis, this is more productive than the, than the rainforest, more productive than the redwood forest, more productive than coral reefs. These are the most biologically productive regions on Earth. <laughs> 